Hi everybody, good afternoon. It is April 9th and I'm Hope from Cedaholic Gardens and I'm doing an unboxing because I went to the Park Forest Garden Club today and I won a, well actually Miss Julie from church won the <laughs> raffle prize but she knows I'm a Cedaholic and this one contains some seeds and gardening stuff so she gave it to me. So I'm going to open it for you guys to see. I'm going to try anyway. You guys know I have issues with my hands. So give me a second to try to get this. I'm going to try and save the bag if possible. Give me a second uh, to try and cut this open. Uh, anyhow, I might not be able to do that. I might have to let it go so you guys can see what's in here. And I'm very excited because... I put a ticket in for this raffle, and I didn't win it, but my lovely church member gave it to me anyway. So I'm going to show you what I picked up at the Garden Club Spring Tea. And today, we had a speaker who was an expert on orchids, so I bought two. So, let's see what's in here. This is actually a hanging basket, which I'll show you at the end. Oh, thank you. This orchid um, had lovely purple blooms, but I knocked them off. But I did find out when orchids are in bloom, you do not want them in direct sunlight. He says, put your orchids in direct sunlight from October 15th through February 14th. When they are blooming, you want them in shade and they will bloom longer. That's why people like orchids, because they're long blooming. And then I got this one. And I'm going to get this one as close to the camera as I can so you can see that flower. See the fall on that? It looks like a bearded iris fall. And this one, he calls stirfish, but this is actually a spider orchid. Don't ask me the genus and phylum because I have no idea, but I could probably Google them for you and let you know. And I bought this one because, of course, it's in purple and the flowers. One of the petals was still in the pot, and it's purple and white stripes. So, about back to the basket, I got a little container of All Things Herbal Natural Bug Repelling Lotion, which I need Tammy to teach me how to make this. It says it's got essential oil blend of peppermint, lemongrass, litzy, eucalyptus, and citronella, and goat milk, rosehip, shea butter, cocoa butter, vitamin E, and germaben, whatever that is. Allthingsherbal.com. Don't know what it costs because it was in the basket, but if it works, I'm going to be getting more. Then, I got another um, hand trowel, which I like because this one is, um, what do you call it, demarcated with depths on the blade. Don't know if you can see that, but I'm trying. Then, I got another pair of gardening shears which I love because I use these when I volunteer at the pantry garden for harvesting. I, and they taught me to use them in my own harvest so you don't hurt your plants. Um, you take off your tomatoes, peppers, all that sort of stuff so you don't hurt those delicate plants. Got some more pots and you know I'm always starting seeds so that's a good thing for me. Aw, cute. I got a little butterfly clip. And it actually matches my blouse, so I'm going to stick it on. It's cute. And I love pollinators, especially butterflies. So, <laughs> it matches. I got yet another pair of gloves, so I can give my hubby back if these will fit him. Um, they are men's gloves, and a medium, so they probably won't fit him. His hands are too big. But, anyways, um, I could try to replace the ones he loaned me until I got the ones from Tammy. And if you watch my greenhouse tour, you'll see them in the video. And I got seeds! You know how I feel about seeds, guys. These are pinks, double imperial mixed colors. And I've never grown these, and my grandma used to grow these too. So, I don't, I think these are at Menards. And I don't think Menards was in business when my grandma was still living. I want to say she used to get her seeds from Handy Andy. So I wonder if Handy Andy is a subset of Menards, maybe. Anyhow... I go, wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. Guess what this is? You guessed it. Milkweed. I will be putting those in a winter sewing jug or two this weekend. Every single one of them. We had milkweed 
um, along the side of our property line here between the neighbor, but a an investor bought that house, and I don't know if he thought it would look better without them or what. He ripped all eight of my plants out. So I'm going to put these in my backyard so he can't get to them because I want my milkweed. And this is perfect. I needed this last week at the um, greenhouse. I was on the ground scooting, and I didn't have a nailer or anything. And I was scooting across wood chips and dirt. And boy, did that hurt my posterior. So I'm glad to get this so I have it for next week because I expect I'll be doing something similar again. And this, oh, look at that. So many weeds, so little time. And I planted a winter sowed some time, so I didn't replace mine because I told you before it died this year. And I got a little candle holder or a lantern dealy. Oh no, I'm sorry. It is not a candle holder. Um, I gotta have my husband do the thingamabobber, but it's actually a battery operated flicker candle, so that is cool. And then this. Oh boy, this is lovely. I'm actually going to use this shredded paper in the bottom so I don't have to use as much soil. I am going to put some flowers in here, probably some nasturtium, some tiny tom peas, or tiny tim peas, and tiny tom tomatoes. Oh, he got it lit up. Can you guys see that? And I'm going to put that in my daughter's room. Um, turn up the light for a second so that they can see that. Can you see that? So... I'm going to put that in my daughter's room because bright greens are her favorite color. She is to green as I am to purple. <laughs> so, in here, it's a sow and grow seed starter kit. But, it's not your everyday seeds. This is cool. Five exotic vegetables. Five color Swiss chard, my favorite. Lemon cucumber, my favorite cucumber that I can never get good harvest. So, hopefully, maybe by me being blessed with seeds as a gift, my harvest will be blessed and bountiful. Then, there's Romanesco broccoli and black corn. So now we're up to nine types of corn, so I'm very excited. And I found out recently I can winter sow corn. So these five will definitely be winter sown this weekend. And who's this brand? Nature's Blossom. I have no idea where this came from, but it's one packet each. Peat soil discs and biodegradable growing pots, plant markers times five. So I think this was a really good haul for having not won the raffle and being gifted by Miss Julie. Thank you, Miss Julie. And she always grows a garden herself. And I want you to stay tuned for my next month's um, Garden Club video because we will be touring Miss Kay's garden. And she has a pond in the front and gorgeous, gorgeous grounds. So I'm hopeful she will allow me to film that for you so that you can see it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Hit that notification bell and you'll be notified about my next video. Because you guys know the SOP. Please, um, blah, brain fart, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, I would like to say, as always, happy gardening, but more importantly, blessed and bountiful harvests for you and yours this gardening season. See you guys next time. Goodbye.